hi guys uh, to start when you're doing a show that is you know based on a true story but is also fictionalized in a lot of ways how do you guys as actors approach your characters since there is that fictionalized element to the real life story Como pues necesaria, ¿no? Yo creo que, que enfrentarnos... It was something needed to be done. It was like facing uh, the fact that we have these powerful and real characters. The life of these blue, these four ladies is part of the reality of many women in the, in, 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 not only in Mexico, in the world. This is the real story of four police women in Mexico City. But it is only a tiny part of what women are made of. We're strong, but at the same time, we are vulnerable when we're on our own, when we are in the world trying to, to discover. But for me, I found these women, and it was like the spark the joy, like saying, yeah, this is going to be tough, but if we are all together, it will it will be le less, less tough. We will be in this companionship and I don't know, this is it. Yeah, and I also, I talked to Fernando and he said that he wanted the serial killer to kind of be a part of it because the it's the real life Thing that women face to this day that there are still women being murdered by men on a regular basis and so when you are kind of blending in what is really happening with women with what happened back then when these women tried to make a name for themselves what is your the most difficult part for you guys of navigating like both the commentary on the real world as well as these women you're honoring at the same time I think it's scary because you want this situation to be only part of a show on TV. But the rate of murders of women in Mexico is part of the common statistics. And when we were running the show, we remember that they have families. Each woman that is found murdered has a family, a mother, a children. And we are becoming vaccined to this reality. And this grabs our dignity, our value as praise of women, because we are turning the back to this realities and we have we, we 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 have a we value just for the sake of being yes this struggle was filmed in mexico but this is happening around the world we have fought for our freedom and we have to defend all those women who are part only of statistics and we should look at them there's always a history behind but we want this history to be in front of and make part of this reality is creating these shows where women struggle where women raise their voices out loud showing that they are really angry for this reality. They were a character in the 70s, but in the world today, women live the same situation or even worse, not only in Mexico, but around the globe. Yeah, and also I, I like that the show has these women kind of pushing back the idea that they can't do something. Like they're, they're joining the police force because people said, oh, I can't, you can't do that. And even though they had to fight to gain their rights as police women, they still like pushing that boundary. What do you guys hope audiences take away and understand from the show when they get to see it? Well, Gavina detached from whatever was taught to her, the meaning of a family. Her dream was to become a police woman. She learned it from her family, but she detached everything. So she started from the scratch. The four of us, we, we started from the very beginning. This is something so strong, so nice, because in, in our daily conventional life, women cannot invade this men's situations, men's jobs. 
And these women are facing are facing something. It is not sad. This is something strong. You want to move forward and they pulling you backwards. They don't want you there. Me as an actress, this taught me actually that we are vulnerable. Perhaps I wouldn't have done this if the other three blues weren't with me altogether. This was really touching because we, at all times, we were together holding each other to keep up moving forward. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Um, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I was going to say thank you guys for no, talking okay. with me. I was, I was just going to say thank you guys. I love the show and I can't wait for everybody to bueno, get to see the yeah. show. Oh, gracias. Have a great one.